Ah, hello, I'd like to walk one more while back to, uh... What Doom are we playing? Doom 3, yes. It's been a few days, and, uh... If I have to be dead honest... I should probably not take this microphone... No. What the hell? Oh, wait, it's late. Goodness. Miss, I'm having some problems with my mouse pad. There's a big fold in the middle of it, and I don't know how to make get rid of it. Like, this fold is not even supposed to exist, ma'am. I can't play with this fold. It's blocking my mouse, ma'am! Fuck this. I need a new mouse pad. But I don't like having my, my wrist. It's mostly my wrist that I have this thing for. Like, this is a... This is an insanely accurate mouse, and it came with a bloody computer, no less. God damn it, lady. We don't buy at the door. I'd say we don't buy at the door. I said, don't buy at the door. It's so... It's somehow just sad to see all these, these beautiful young women. Your friends are with me now. What you gonna do about it? Oh yeah, you totally just beat my ass, man. I'm dead. I could go over there. Or I could look for a fucking mouse pad. I could really use a mouse pad. Did I already say that I want a mouse pad? I think I didn't say that yet. Let me, let me, re let me reiterate. Um... I would greatly prefer a situation in which I'm- Oh man, that's- That's neat. I really like some of the organization they give in this game. Man, that guy... Oh hey. How you doing? But I call, uh... Fuck, I don't know what the hell that code's supposed to be. It's been a while. This is the audio log of Robert Price, Delta Operational Director in charge of personnel, recruitment. Da 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 why the hell is this code not here? It doesn't mention any 210, 210, 2210, 10, 10, where's 210? Really, there's no 210 code? Maybe it's over here. Because there is this really fancy dancy key pad thingamajig. 210, that's all I'm looking for here. Come on, people. 210. 210. Give me a good old-fashioned locker. 210. F fuck. I'm in 21D. Okay. 21D. Storage. Um. You know what? I don't need that. Let's just move on. Could you give me a moment? I'm, I'm having a really itchy neck right now. If I don't cure this itchy neck right now, there you go. Of the Thanks for the. To the Delta Labs have been reprimanded with three others under investigation. I needed that. It seems caches of weapons, armor, and ammo have been discovered in various places throughout the Delta Labs. We've located some of the missing equipment and have information that we hope will lead us to more. I have a team investigating storage room 21D with security code 298, where I've learned stolen items may be located. I hope to recover all items and find all personnel responsible. End of law. Fuck yeah. Oh no! It's a reverend! Oh no! It's a macaco demon! Man, are my pants soiled! Not only was that a totally unexpected turn of events, but my britches be soiled, man. Tip! 
Do not detonate rockets in face. That's like pro tip number five, man. Pro tip number one, I don't even know, man. That's like the pro tip they never want to share with you. Like, you want that pro tip? How about you jump off a bridge, you noik? You nerd. Get the fuck back here. Hey, you. Uh, you should be glad I was easy on him. I could have fucked him up. I could have used an Italian accent. And he would have been very upset, hey, Mr. Man, if I used an Italian accent, that guy would not be alive, right? Actually, he isn't alive anyway, so... Problem solved! The fuck is your problem? You're messing up my floor. I know I'm just a systems administrator, but I have respect for the janitor. You should show some respect to the janitor. That man dedicates his life to cleaning up this place. Didn't we already do this thing with, like, the elevator getting bust up? Yeah, we did this already. What the fuck? I don't like recycled material as much as the next man, which, by the way, is... Oh, man, I love it. You're sad. You're a pathetic excuse for an import interesting enemy. Oh, no! Man, I'm spooked. Like I said, my britches be soiled. Look at these britches. I don't think these britches are gonna last much longer. I might need to switch to slacks. Or maybe even make a comical statement by wearing a diaper. Ha 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 Fetishists be damned. Ha 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 Oh man, there's more of them. Well, at least we're catering to the floating ladyhead fetish. That much can be confirmed. The fuck do you want? Well, I'm not selling anything, sir. There's no need to be so aggressive. I'm just coming for your house visit. Oh, it's a macaco dude. Hey, Mr. Macaco. I wonder, is every shot to you a headshot? It should be, because you're a big ol' head. Okay. Why are they sending enemies after me whenever I find an ammo cache? No need to be doomed. That thing looks way cool. But yeah, um, in case you didn't see that, that was a partially depleted... Da, 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 da. So they do exist. I thought they didn't. I thought I was nuts! Nuts, they said! Probably was nuts. Attention! Attention! Save feature enabled. My face. You see how many fucks were given? If the answer is less than two, it's more than caco demons. I liked caco demons. They're cute. They're the mascot for the Doom Wiki. They are really. Look at the Doom Wiki. You see that little caco demon? He's so happy. He's all like, "What's up? How you doing? I'm a little caco demon, and I go whoop de whoop." Anami nami nam on people. And I'm a pretty cheerful guy. Man, I love that cop. That guy is so cheerful. Shooting him in the nuts. That's. That is a joke I did not want to make. Let's forget about it. Let's just forget that joke even exists. Let's pretend that we're all perfectly comfortable with our bodies and there's nothing funny about the human anatomy. There you go! Problem solved. Become a better person now. I guess Martian Buddy was trying to uh, stave off the insanity here. What? Oh, whatever. I 
gave you a crown, and it looks so pretty! Dude! Dude! That was a terrible hiding spot. I knew you were there like five years ago. How you doing? I wonder how he's doing. I hope he's doing well, you know? I know I'm just a lousy systems administrator, but jeez, man! Fine, I'll deal with your bullshit. Oh no, I gotta say BS because the parents might get concerned! This has gotta stay PG-13. Which is why I can't say cancer-infested gay asshole. Because that would just be offensive to every person involved. Which it kinda always is. I could say but and everyone involved would be offended. Unless they're like, hey, I don't give a fuck. I don't get what these commandos are about. They're not a threat, they're just like imps. Only even less imposing. Might I say, this horror game is doing a, a fantastic job being very non-threatening. I feel like I'm safe with mommy. Man, I watched play I played Mission Impossible when I was a wee little boy. And I didn't know shit about it. It was for the N64. I didn't understand anything, so I pretty much couldn't play it at all. What the fuck, Pinky? Come on. You used to be the coolest kid in the street. The people want advice, they were like, Hey, Mr. P! What are you doing? I think I need a few tips. And everyone was like, Oh, that's Pinky! And people liked you. People respected you, Pinky. The Germans were... Duh. Well, actually, that were the Russians. But it was a Russian man who lived in Germany, who has a German nationality. Why the fuck are we associating accents to locations is beyond me. Oh no! It's the weakest enemy in the game I could easily kill with my pistol! How about I do just that? Why? This isn't scary. I don't feel threatened. I just feel kind of bored. That is so... That is a very doomish design setup, but it just doesn't work when it's not supposed to be uns... Oh, there you go. Hey, you missed, pal! Just, just thought I'd give you a heads up on your accuracy, you know. There's the chain gun. I kinda wanted to shoot a rocket, but then I was like, hmm. Hmm. Do I hate this guy or do I like him? And I was like, I like him. I must like him. He's just amazing. He has a lovely personality. He bakes killer quesadillas. I just have to give him the preferential treatment. Rocket to the face. That guy, by the way, makes terrible guacamole. He does not deserve to live, I can tell you that much. If I let him live, the world would forever be soiled with terrible guacamole. But that aside... Where are we even going? I've just been wandering around, which is apparently the correct direction to go in. Lots of fighting lately, though. This is kind of spooky. Hey, Mr. Gakudu. How's your family holding up? I heard you're doing great. I heard you're investing in that brand new company down the street. That's a good idea. Let me give you a tip. Try not to invest too much, or they'll get greedy, and when they get greedy, man, you're gonna make bigger losses than you're gonna make profits. Take it nice and slow, make sure that you're knowing who you're dealing with, and you'll get there. You'll have a lot of money, you'll, you'll be set. You don't have to worry about your 401k anymore. You can just sit back and enjoy a lovely holiday with the wife and kids, you know? 
Oh, it's you. I am only marginally impressed by that performance. Slightly better. Still want to see the war killer. Who's going to impress me? Who's going to be the next system administrator? Come on! I didn't start this contest for no one. Because if I did, I'm going to be pretty pissed off. You're not accurate enough for this distance, sir. I think you need to understand that there is a limit at which a minigun is accurate, and when it isn't accurate anymore, you need to consider moving closer or switching arsenal. Because a rocket launcher that is one-to-one -one accurate, there's just a point where you have to think, you know, this isn't gonna work out, you know? I'm gonna have to reconsider my options. We probably went through Del secure Delta Tunnel, blah, 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 where there was an ambush waiting or something. Hey! This is where that video I watched started at. Man, did my microphone sound like an ass. It was like, I'm a microphone, and a microphone, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, microphone. You're not a Susan Oh no, it's super spooky with blood on the walls. This looks like a terrible creepy pasta to be honest. There's scary glyphs and there's blood on the walls. And there's a man wearing a silly hat that pretends to be Satan. But actually he's Sonic. Because everyone knows the correlation between Sonic and Satan. Ah, uh, Sonic and Satan. Best buddies 2012. Man, I'm just I'm just blabbering. I'm gonna shut up. And I'm uh a few medkits, maybe. It's impolite to drown in your shit, sir. That is some explosive diarrhea. That is... I get the strange feeling this man is having a period, but I don't know. Are you... That is actually the flashlight model glued on to the marine can you see the disappointment because I can I also like how the mirror model isn't lined up properly which means that the first person model does not line up with the third person model this is just what do you want what do you want I thought the first guy I don't give a shit Nice pentamogram. I hate it. What do these people want from me? I just bought one Girl Scout cookie! <sighs> they need some Muzak. Oh, that's... I never noticed that thing. That's great. Can I say, best detail 2012? No. This game is either older than that, or it doesn't line up properly with chronological order anyway. Oh no, it's the super spooky area that isn't spooky because I have a minigun. Also, a flashlight that is terribly mounted on my shoulder. Like, I get the impression that this game was not designed to have this many powerful weapons. They feel out of place because of it. Look at how smooth I move. This is Doom-esque shooting. And it just doesn't line up with the fact that it's trying to be a spooky game. With a spooky wheel. And a crazy clock. I like the crazy clock. Don't you talk shit about the crazy clock, man. That crazy clock kicked your ass ten times. Let's see, have I maxed out my rocket yet? Not yet, that's... Mm. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, what do I do? Problem solved. Problem solved. Any more candidates for world's biggest idiot? There you go. So you just gotta, you gotta shame him. <sighs> this is the audio log of medical... No, it's probably the death of Steve Johnson. 
This is the audio log of Medical Supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th, 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia, and I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly dwindling. Approximately 80% of all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. We've witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group appear to atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack, bone, teeth, and fingernails become almost translucent, veiny sinews of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in Korea. Our observations continue. Okay, so we're not going to get that code for a bit, but I can figure it out right now. What does it say? 583. Frank. What the f... You left your lunch on your desk again. I put it in the storage closet at number 112. The combination of books... That is so cute! I like how you call- Oh, that a guy is actually named Guy. I love people that are named Guy, like in that- that anime. Um... Yeah, we're gonna get the BFG real lickety split. Marine, your journey is futile. You will die. So die. Um... I want to say something. I forgot what I wanted to say. Um... Yeah, this is totally over when I get my... Uh... Um... Oh fuck, this is gonna take a while because there's a guy here. He took it into the portal, and hell followed him out. You have to help me first. 
I like how we're wearing normal pants. Systems running again. Well, it's gonna be a while until we get. All I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. I want to kill you, but I really know that it's really not gonna do anything. So fuck it. Yeah, I'm done. I'll see you guys next time when I'm probably going to read this report. NATO!